Hey people, it's Larry again. There's a surprise, right? This is going to be my first video in what may be a series of videos in an experiment that I'm conducting out here with LED floodlights. Uh, using those in the place of grow lights. Um, but what I got going on here is, as you can maybe see, because these are really bright, I have two LED floodlights out here. There's one there that runs in the 6500K color spectrum, and then another one over here that runs in the 3000K color spectrum. And you can probably tell by looking at the surface of my little wicking bed here how the left side has a blue tint to it and the right side has a pink tint to it. And that's just the difference in color temperatures. Um, for those of you that have done any uh, research on grow lights, you, you know that 6500K, the blue, is used for vegetative growth or, you know, leaves, stems, you know, that kind of stuff. And the 3000K is used for flowering and fruiting. And the reason I'm doing this is because these are only 50 watts a piece but they claim that these lights put out the same as, each one puts out the same as a 150 watt high pressure sodium which oddly enough you know combined is the same as my quantum uh, bad boy T5 fluorescent fixture up there so according to what you know these companies are claiming these two 50 watt lights with the 3000K and 6500K color spectrums going on should put out the exact same as my fixture that has the 6T5 uh, fluorescent tubes but they only pull one third the power. Now some of these plants that are growing down here right now are a little leggy and that's because I was using some small two foot T5s out here and they just weren't bright enough. But I have some radishes over here and then here I don't, I planted uh, carrots but they haven't come up yet. And then I got different types of arugula in the middle and over here I have spinach and just today over in that far corner I have some Swiss chard that just started coming up but this camera sucks so therefore you probably can't see them but at any rate I'm gonna keep tabs on this and I'm gonna post videos showing the progress and if these actually do work out like the advertisers say um, this may be a very good option for people growing indoors that don't want to rack up their electric bill incredibly high because heck I'd rather pay to run uh, 250 watt lights instead of a fixture that pulls slightly over 300 any day of the week so that's about it um, just thought I would show this now and we'll keep tabs on things and keep the updates coming that's all thanks a lot bye